Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Hello, Australia. I have something very, very unique and rare to show to you today. That is the one of a kind, American female, the Debbie. Found only in Cincinnati, Ohio, but internationally can be seen on the Natasha and Debbie show Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays on YouTube. Anyway, with beautiful dark hair, and dark eyes, mysteriously amazing creature, standing at five foot one inches and weighing in uh, at what- uh, uh, If you didn't know, this is what is called a bird nerd. I love birds. <laughs> Someone who is American who absolutely loves birds. I love birds. Don't know what you guys call them over there. Maybe you have a nickname too. Birders is another one. Burger is another one. But um, <laughs> she loves birds. I'm really excited about this video, but before we get into it, hit the like button if you guys like the content, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm so excited. I know, I can't wait to see what Australian birds look like. We're gonna check out this video. It's actually a photos, they're photos. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, it's called Beautiful Photos of 20 Iconic Australian mm -hmm. Birds by bird photographer, don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm gonna try this, Dwayne Patton. And so he's gonna show up, show us. And now I, I am a photographer. I used to be professionally uh -huh. only a photographer, and I have done bird photography. So um, this is something I'm very interested in. I'm so excited. I've never seen an Australian. Bird. If you want to see some of Natasha's bird photography photos, they you could join us on Patreon. There's some on there. And there's a lot more cool stuff on Patreon and besides that. If you've ever joined us on Facebook Live, you might have seen some of our own birds in our backyard. Yep, we show them on there all the time. Now we did do a video on British birds yeah. um, last year. So if you wanna go back and take a look at that one, give it, give it a look. It was a, I had so much fun with that. Mm -hmm. yeah, and did. gave out some very nerdy American bird facts. I'm gonna do my best not to do that in this video. I'm gonna to try to just watch and enjoy it. It'll probably happen. Really excited, I can't wait to do this. So I thought it'd be great if I shared with you photos of 20 iconic species. Yay. Most of you have probably heard of these birds or you might have seen them. Probably not. It'd be great to have a look at them up close and we can appreciate those birds together. If that sounds interesting to you, maybe grab mm -hmm. a cuppa and we'll go through these 20 iconic species. So whilst we've got all these birds singing around us, we might as well get started on iconic species number one. And that is the splendid fairy wren. This wow. bird is absolutely stunning. It's got multiple Beautiful. shades of blue. It's just got character. It's truly one of the highlights of Australian birds. Wow. These little birds are often in groups with multiple females and they're bouncing around the ground and they're a favorite of just about every single person who visits Australia. Well, I can see why. We have nothing like that. Wow. Um, that would be like a miniature blue jay. <laughs> Very miniature. Very miniature. <laughs> Because blue jays are huge. Yeah, um, that is just a stunning blue. A fairy wren, I love the name of it. Now we have wrens, of course, but mm -hmm. not a fairy wren. No. Oh, she's adorable, or he. I love this already. The splendor fairy wren, however, is an inland bird, so it's oh. not, a, not where I live, and you have to travel some way to find it. Never I actually mind. only had one real good session with these birds, and that was back in 2012. During oh, wow. that time, oh. I managed to get quite a few photos I'm very happy with. This photo here that Aww. you can see, this is probably one of my favorites. If you look closely, you can see a little flower in the bill of the yeah. bird. Mm -hmm. At the time I took this, I just assumed that that flower was for one of his girlfriends. But I've later found out that he only offers flowers to females he wants to have an affair with, Ooh, not no. the girls that he's already got. Oh, so he's a player. I'm disappointed by that. But then in theory, the other girls in his group are probably getting flowers from other boys. So True. it all ends out in the end. Is that a monkey? You can hear the kookaburras in the background but it's good timing because that's one of the iconic species I want to talk about. If you hear this bird, you know, oh, wow. you definitely know what it is as soon as you hear it. Wait, kookaburra. That's the licorice we had. Yeah. I didn't know it was a bird. Yeah, I didn't know it was a real bird And it's either. a laughing kookaburra at that. <laughs> and that's a that sounded like a monkey. Yeah, it did. I'd be kind of freaked out if I heard that sound. Well, we, the only thing we have similar to that, that in our suburb or area uh -huh. here, right here in this part of our, our land, I'm awkward. <laughs> it would be um, like a certain woodpecker. You know, they kind of sound. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, there's yeah. a couple um, that have some weird sounds. Not quite like that, not quite that loud. Mm -hmm. That I thought was a monkey. Yeah. Huh. 
It's sort of all around Australia. It's a great bird to photograph. And I've had the pleasure a number of times. Beautiful. This shot that you can see is this one of my favorite shots. I happened to be walking down a path and the bird just flew straight in front of me and landed at a tree on my left. I happened to have my camera on my shoulder. I put it down, checked the settings, focused on the bird and took the shot. Almost really like raptor a lot claws. for it. I know. It just fell into my lap and that's what <coughs> happens sometimes and that's one of the joys of birding. It's a different uh, The beat. camera had to work really hard for the shot because yeah, well. it was ISO 3200, 125th of a second. So I really had to push it, not for settings I'd recommend, but I didn't have any light, so I had to take the opportunity yeah. when it presented itself. It's a fantastic bird, an iconic one that you'll definitely see if you come to Australia. And here. So Australia is often <laughs> referred to as the land of parrots, and for good reason. Didn't know that. A lot of colorful parrots. Mm -hmm. One of the most common and most colorful is the galah, with its beautiful Oh, we heard about that, remember? This, this bird hear. is a real highlight of the Australian bush, and it's literally everywhere. It's probably for that reason most people overlook it when it comes to photographing them. <laughs> Overall, extremely beautiful bird that you'll be guaranteed to see if you do visit. You may know not what realize that the for. female actually has that red eye and the male has the black eye. So that's how you can tell the sexes okay. apart. Okay. Following on the parrot theme, the next bird is the beautiful rainbow lorikeet. We've got a few lorikeets in oh. Australia, but this one is by far the most common, possibly the most colorful. With those range of colors, wow. it's easy to see how it's been given the name a rainbow beautiful. lorikeet. Beautiful. I've had the pleasure of photographing this bird a number of times. And as you can see by this headshot, you are great able to get very close to the species. Yeah. You're feeding on flowering plants in your backyard, so a great photographic subject and a bird you'll definitely see if you come to the east coast of Australia. Wow, I'd love to see, to see one see person. Them. They are yeah. very noisy, beautiful. A beautiful but iconic Australian species. So the next bird belongs to an absolutely incredible family, and that's the bowerbird family. You may have heard mm -hmm. of them. These birds nope. are the ones that build those amazing bowers and the males Why? will spend hours and days building these elaborate bowers and then decorating them out the front. The species I've That's had cool. a lot of time with is the satin bowerbird. It's fairly common on the, on the east coast, They're southeast of Australia. And this is the bird that collects the blue bottle tops and shells and pebbles and all sorts of things. So These are awesome. Sometimes you'll be walking through the bush and you'll see all of this garbage and people might think, oh, it's just rubbish. But it's probably uh, this bird's collected all these things for its bower. Huh, uh, the females wow. can be extremely fussy and they'll come and inspect the bower as you can see in this photo. Yeah, I knew that was a female based off the other photos. It's up color. to her standard. If it's not, he tears it down and starts again. Oh. But if he does get it right, he gets to breed and he's happy with that. The adult That's male awesome. actually wow. takes six or seven years to develop this amazing satin plumage. The young wow. males are actually green, so you'll often see a lot of green birds together. And you may just think they're all females, but in fact, half of them will be juvenile males. Okay. And the other half are likely to be female. So it does take quite a long time before they get that adult plumage. An absolutely amazing species that is actually pretty common in a lot of backyards. So if you visit Australia, you'll likely see a bowbird, which is fantastic. Okay, cool. so that brings us to the robin family. Probably my most favorite group of birds to photograph because they're just so cute and they have so many colors. We've got pink, we've got Whoa. yellow, we've got flame, just about every single color is covered. The species I'm gonna to show today is the red cat robin. Okay, Mainly not fair, no, just... hold on. I know. That's not fair. We have an American robin who's like the most boring bird. Now the bird yeah. is a pretty impressive bird. That bird can get some worms like mm -hmm. like no one else can. She, she or he is also, they are very amazing hunters for worms and things. You guys have more than one and you have a they're all and they're adorable. They're freaking beautiful, man. I'm mad. That's not fair, Australia. You're you're hogging all the cool robins. I know. They come in different colors. <laughs> That's awesome. You know the 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 English brought over so many birds here, like the sparrows mm. and the starlings. Yep. Y'all could bring over some robins. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. So if you don't mind? We we we'd be appreciative <laughs> of that. Um, wow. I didn't expect this. I was wondering if you guys had a robin. Uh huh. No, not only do they have one. Yeah, got three. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're stunning. I was covered. The species I'm going to show today is the red cat robin. Beautiful. Mainly because I was just so excited to photograph this bird when I started. I out, would be too. And I got that opportunity back in 2012. <sighs> And I still love this photo and it brings back a lot of fond memories. And I Beautiful. still love photographing this bird today. Wow. The male has the red cap and the red chest and the female is more of a sort of a plain brown with a little As bit of red on the typically cap. are. You can see in this shot, the female's wow. on the left and the male's on the right. Wow. And they're often seen together out in the bush. They're so, so cute. a favorite little bird of mine that I love to photograph. So that brings us to the Australian magpie. It has one of the most beautiful songs you'll hear oh. in the Australian bush. I really do enjoy hearing it when I'm out and about. I'm fortunate that they're almost everywhere in Australia. Wherever you go, you'll definitely find a magpie. That's funny to me because we know that the, the British have their magpie. Uh-huh. They talk about it a lot. Yeah. And there's the whole poems that go with it and the saluting mm -hmm. of the magpie. 
But I wonder, you guys have your super superstitions with this one as well right. as the British do with theirs? Do you have a poem? Do you have anything yeah. like that? Or does that just belong to the British? I don't know. That's why I'm asking. They're often in little groups. They're a joy to see and a joy to photograph. I was fortunate that I used to have a bird visit my backyard and I and enabled me to get a few nice shots of the species, which I'm still very happy with. It's the Australian photo. magpie really is <coughs> one of those iconic species. The next bird is the beautiful and elegant black swan. Some people may not realise that it actually breeds in Australia and is endemic. It's actually been introduced to a lot of countries around the world. I've had I the pleasure of photographing didn't know it there was a black swan. Times. And it really no. is a highlight. There's a movie like called Black Swan. It is actually quite a big bird, if you're not aware. I took Jeez. these shots, which has a little bit of habitat in the background, and it gives you a sense of where this bird is, and that's why I like these shots. Wow. I just want to take a look at that. I that mean, the neck is, re it's like a trunk of a tree. I, I was just going to say, it looks like a tree trunk. Or a like giraffe. Bark on it. Giraffe bird. But to, just the way the feathers hang, it looks like bark. And then the, the <laughs> yeah. body feathers, it looks like, I don't know, curls or something. Like what? I don't, to me, it looks like curly. Curly. Yeah, it does. It's beautiful. Really pretty. So that brings us on to Australia's largest bird of prey. Oh. And that's the mighty wedge-tailed eagle. This really is oh. a giant in the sky and a familiar scene in the outback of Australia. I've actually only had the opportunity to photograph this bird once, so I would love another opportunity. Beautiful. But I happened to be driving in the outback oh. and noticed two birds on roadkill, oh. which is often how you'll see them. Yeah. One of them flew off, but the other one just flew into a tree nearby. Beautiful. So I stopped the car, I've hopped out and hand held and I've just taken a few shots of this bird in the tree, as you can see, and I was really happy to actually finally mm -hmm. get some shots of this species. Most of the time you see them hovering around wow. in the sky with their giant wing spread. Okay, I have to, sorry, sorry, I can't help it. But that looks very much like a juvenile bald eagle here in some mm -hmm. ways, or even a golden one. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh, the bald eagle in America, if you don't know, not that you may care or not, I have to tell some things, they don't actually get their white heads until they're about four or five years old. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the juveniles have similar colorings and markings to this bird here. And that wedge tail, which gives them their name. An amazing yeah, tail. bird and one I really want to get shots of. The next iconic species is the Australian pelican. Pretty sure everyone's heard of this bird. It's got the enormous bill yep. and it's a giant bird flying around. I really wanted to photograph this bird when I first started out. In Australia, recreational fishing is quite popular and they have filleting tables where the fishermen fillet the fish and the pelicans have figured this out and they come for a free feed. Mm. So I made for the perfect opportunity to get some photo nearby one of these filleting tables and I waited until the birds were flying in and I just had my camera, my 405.6. Yeah, amazing photographer. These birds as they're flying in. I was very happy with the <coughs> shot that I got with the clouds in the background, mm -hmm. the pose, and it's well mm -hmm. lit. And it really captures the essence of a pelican. That's beautiful. Underneath. This brings us to the amazing red-necked avocet. This is a shorebird, and it's one of oh, my wow. favorite species to photograph. And I had so much fun doing it. I had wanted to photograph this bird as soon as I saw it in the books. Beautiful. It took me a few years to get that opportunity. But when I did, I spent hours and hours laying down in the mud photographing this bird. Mm -hmm. One yeah. morning, everything went to plan. I had perfect wow. conditions and I was able to get some of the most favorite shots. It's a very interesting it's beak. absolutely unique in the way that its bill is upturned and it sifts through the water. It's got that beautiful head, those long legs. Perfect it's an photo. Extremely elegant bird. That's a mm -hmm. joy to see if you do come to Australia. That brings us to the sulfur crested cockatoo. No, it could possibly be the most iconic Australian bird with that big yellow crest. It is actually a really big bird. Oh, I've seen these. Believe yeah. it or not, I do not have a photo I'm happy with. I've got a couple, but they don't have their crest up, which is what this species is all about. So even though it's really common, I've they just struggled to though. get a good shot. And that's sometimes just the way it is. But it gives me something to focus on in the future. And hopefully one day I can share that with you, photographing this beautiful species. That's it may cool. have the most annoying bird call there is. It's, it's like a massive screech and it's not pleasant at all. Oh. I'm, wrong. I'm wrong. I've not seen that bird. I've no. seen some that are similar in different colors, but no, I've never seen that. That is absolutely mm. beautiful though. All right, next up is the little <laughs> willy wagtail. I'm pretty sure every single person in Australia has seen this bird. It is willy wagtail, everywhere. I love the name. It's Cute. extremely friendly and you'll see it bouncing around on the ground. Hi, and willy. Fence posts, clotheslines. You know, it's wherever you wow. go, this bird will be wow. chirping away and its tail wagging. So it's a favorite of many people and it's Aww. a favorite of mine. It's only a little black and white bird, but it's full Cute of character, full of attitude, and it's a great bird to photograph. It's actually one of the very first birds I photographed just because of how common it is. Mm. And I still photograph it today, and I've got plenty of them here on the property. Very to enjoy. cute. So if you do come to Australia, you'll be guaranteed to see. I'll be able to point out some birds for once. Mm -hmm. So that brings us on to the bird that's often referred to as a bin chicken, a tip turkey, 
or a dumpster diver. It's definitely um, not a seagull. Okay. This bird is an Australian white ibis. This bird is in a wow. lot of big cities and you'll often see it with its head in a rubbish bin cleaning up all the human waste. No. Oh, it does ew. actually occur out in the wild and I was happy to get some photos of this in its natural habitat. Huh. It's arguably Australia's ugliest bird. <laughs> it's definitely only one the mother would love, that's for sure. Well, there's a little fantastic. Like that ugly. But I'm still happy to photograph any bird, even if it is this ugly. So that brings us to the major natural cockatoo, one of my favourite parrots. Whoa. I had the joy Look of photographing this bird actually last year, and I got this shot which I'm extremely happy with. That is it's also awesome. called a pink cockatoo, and for good reason. You can see it's sort of pink colours, and if you even look... It looks like it's wearing a Native American headdress. It does. I was, I mean, the second I saw that, yeah. that looks like a Native American headdress. That is stunning. Yeah. Look under the wing, it's got amazing sort of pinky orange mm -hmm. colors. Wow. And that crest is the key. With a lot of these cockatoos, they have the most amazing crest. And this bird shows off when it That's lands. That's insanely it puts beautiful. crest up and it has those amazing colors. So ideally when you take oh, photos wow. of the species, it does. that's what you want, but you have a very narrow mm -hmm. window to do it. So I was happy to get a few shots. If you want to see this bird, you will have to travel a fair way inland to see it. I want to see that definitely bird. Definitely not a common species. Okay. Mm. So that brings us on to the emu, probably one of Australia's emu. most recognized birds. I, I believe know. it's on our coat of arms. It's a large flightless bird, and you can probably see footage of it running madly across the desert. So it is an inland species, and you do have to travel to, to find it. I was fortunate mm. to see it a number of times when I've gone inland, and I've got a couple of shots. I would like more, but these shots that I'm showing were taken in its natural habitat on open plains. How tall are they? I don't know. Out and about. I would love some shots of it with its young, because the male around. look after all the young. The young are very cute and stripy, so one day I need to get some photos of some young emus. So that brings us to another parrot, and this one's called the Gang Gang Cockatoo. You've probably seen a few photos of this species, as it is a favourite of many photographers. The male oh, wow. is the one with the red head, and it has that most amazing crest. I'm not seeing And it. it just looks really cool. It's also got an amazing call, and you'll hear it. It sounds like a creaky barn door. So you often huh. hear them before you see them, or you'll hear them feeding in the treetops as you're walking around. That's cool. Fortunately, I've managed to get a few photos of the species when they were feeding on an introduced hawthorn tree a few years ago. The female doesn't have the red head of the male, and she's sort of a dark gray. I was actually pleasantly surprised when I photographed this bird to see just how much color wow. it has on its chest. And it's often when you photograph birds up close, you get quite intimate with them and you yeah. notice things that you don't yeah. notice from afar. Absolutely so you true. You can see all the color on this female's yeah. chest. Just admire the beauty of this bird. Hmm. It's definitely a favorite of mine. And if you do visit Australia, I highly recommend trying to find this bird. All right, that brings us to the tawny frogmouth. It's often referred to as an owl by most people, hmm. um, but it is a frogmouth. It's fairly common in a lot That's of backyards. Cool. And it's well known because when it perches <laughs> on a branch, it often looks like a stick. Unfortunately, I don't have a photo of it Looks imitating little. a branch, but you can see here, they're a fantastic looking bird. They've got beautiful that's, big that's eyes. That's cool they're looking. often in what? groups of two or three. It's always nice when you come across these birds. I would love so not shots owl. of the species, as the photos <laughs> I have aren't very good, but it's a kind of species That's very different. It is different, uh, I like again it. again in the future. That brings us on to the honey eater family. It's a large group of birds in Australia, as we have a ton of flowering plants from eucalypts and grevilleas that produces a lot of nectar, so we have a lot of birds that feed on the nectar. The honey eater that I want to focus on today is the regent honey eater. It's the bird that adorns this cat that I have. Mm -hmm. The reason I want to talk about it is it's oh, hello. critically endangered. They Dang. believe its numbers are as low as 500 or lower, oh, no. so it needs all the help it can get. It's a beautiful bird that is pretty hard to see. I got really lucky with this bird that turned up on the coast, a single bird in a tree in suburbia. Oh. So as you can imagine, I raced wow. down and got some shots. They are cool. Unfortunately, a lot of its habitat has been destroyed and that's oh. why it's struggling. On a positive note, there's lots of groups wow. doing a lot of good work planting trees and trying to care for the species. All right, that brings us to the last Okay, before he goes to the last one, let us know in the comments. Um, I know it's, it's titled 20 Iconic Australian Birds. We don't know otherwise, mm -hmm. but I heard him say several times on a couple that they're really rare and unique or hard to find. Yeah. So do you agree with the list? Are there any you would add that we should look up? Oh, yeah. Let us know, please, because loving this, even though uh -huh. we only have one left, these are beautiful. Never seen, well, except for the pelican. I can't remember if there was one other one I saw or not. Mm -hmm. But these are yeah. stunning and gorgeous. And how many of these do you actually get, like, are they, like, you know, backyard birds? Yeah. Um, you know, neighborhood that birds. That you see often, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's the last one? Last bird. And unfortunately, this bird's iconic for all the wrong reasons. Uh oh. It's probably Australia's most hated bird. Oh, no. And that is the masked lapwing. 
But he's this cool. bird terrorises people all around Australia. Unfortunately, <laughs> it lays its eggs in the very silly places. It lays them on median strips and out the front of people's yards. Oh, no. And it defends its nest and its young with absolute vigour. Mm. It dive bombs and it has these big spurs like that a it attacks people with. Yeah. And they make a really loud noise. Of interest, this bird what? looks slightly Whoa. different. Whoa, mass lapwing, that is crazy. That's like a superhero mask or a super <laughs> villain mask. Is. That doesn't look real. That looks like wow. leather. Doesn't look like leather. It does. I've never seen a bird with like an extra face over its face. I know, with a mask on. That was a weird thing to say. That, that is that's, crazy that's weird, guys. That's unique to us. I've, we've never seen this No, before. never seen anything like that. I mean, the closest thing I think of to that is like a chicken. Yep. <laughs> but no, this is stunning. Really weird. <laughs> what? The further north you go, so in Darwin I took this shot, it's got really large wattles, but down in the southeast it has much smaller wattles. So depending yeah, on where you go small. in Australia, the bird will look slightly different. It's like he's just going to take it off. Well, that <laughs> brings us to the end of these 20 iconic Australian species. No. Thank you. Oh man, that was so cool and unexpectedly yes. awesome. I didn't expect half of, I mean, more than half of those. I didn't expect most of those. Of the ones we saw, the prettiest was the splendid fairy wren for sure. Definitely. Oh, because how Love cute was it? How cute was it? Yeah, it was adorable. And your favorite bird here in America, it especially, well, I shouldn't say America, in our area, because, mm -hmm. you know, here, I'm sure, it, like you guys, you know, we're a large area, mm -hmm. so we don't always get the same stuff based on climates, is a wren. Yeah, the, Carol is the, the Carolina, Carolina wren. Yeah, wren. that's your favorite. Um, I, I don't know if I, I I'm, st I'm shocked over the robins. I'm still shocked about that. Uh huh. Um, that, they're that beautiful. Was probably the biggest shock. Yeah. I don't know. Well, it was actually even more shocking than that masked man. Who was that masked man? <laughs> <laughs> um, that was the second biggest shock, though, was the, yeah. the, what was it called? The uh, masked. masked lapwing. Yeah. Um, these, the tawny frogmouth, though. I, I'm confused by that one. Yeah, that's just unique. Uh, these are all just absolutely incredibly beautiful and, mm -hmm. and unique, even if they may, you know, suck if you live there and you're tired of them and they're a nuisance or whatever. They're pretty to look at. They sure are. Unless you have that, you know, one with the big thing. Mm -hmm. um, what was that one? That one. Just to see all the the big the bright colors that your birds have. Yeah, um, and the pink one. And we do, we do have some brightly colored birds. We just, do. Just uh, not, not that many different colors. Not as like a rainbow colored on top of them. Right. You know, it's it's a bit different. Yeah. Um, but they're beautiful. If you guys like this video, please click the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Um, this was so much fun for, for me. I can't speak for you. Mm -hmm. No, I enjoyed this. I've gotten Debbie into birds. She's, she's still afraid of them, though, admit it. I don't want them to come near me, but I like to watch them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Again, comment with uh, your favorite bird. Ooh, that'd be fun. What is your favorite bird? Yes. Let us know why. And then what one do you like the least? Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you and hope you enjoyed this like we said. Mm -hmm. um, we will be back next time. Until then, please love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye, guys. Bye.